Hello everyone. I am in Mahan Point shopping center. I came here because there's core comic comic expo, comic book expo or comic con as you would like to say maybe. This is the first time in three years that it's on in Cork and I think that it's really important uh, for anybody who likes comics um, and the art and everything to actually go and support the event which is one of the main reasons why I'm here. I hope that I will also leave with a few signed copies of the things that I'm meaning to pick up so fingers crossed for that and yeah let's hope it's nice. So that's what's on, that's a lot of different names of course and everything and art workshops and everything uh, but anyway we'll see if I find the ones that I'm after. Always on events like that you can see a lot of cool cosplay and a lot of cool costumes, Star Wars, this one here, Volunteer Costuming Club, very cool. Uh, there's actually so much to look at that I'm uh, probably going to be not making as many comments as um, as I'm thinking that I will because I just start staring at things instead. So I hope that uh, you get what you want to see in this video without me blabbing on actually as well. There's a lot of uh, local um, and not so local uh, comic book artists here as well and hopefully as I said I can uh, bag a few signed copies here and there. That's one of the things I'd be after. And a lot of sketching going on here as well. Expo is on from very early in the morning. It started um, at something like um, 9.30 I think and it's on until 6 o'clock. So quite a while I have enough time to make a few circles here anyway. That is also something that I'm really interested in. I'm going to stop here for the moment and see a bit more. But before that I'll just show you what's on the other side here as well. The waves that break are on Losty and Becca Carey. Planet of the Apes. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm pretty aware that my filming is quite erratic, but it's mostly because I'm trying to not film too many people and kids and everything like that, just in case if ever anybody has a little problem about it. This stall is pretty amazing. I like this stuff. Very good. And yeah, so if my filming, as I say, is a bit erratic, it is because I am trying really hard to kind of film as little people as possible because very, very often filming in places like uh, shopping centers and places like that, uh, people do prefer not to be on the video. So, these are pretty cool as well. Doing commissions here. Something just happening here now. Judge Dredd. More sketching. Mm, out of sight. Which is also really, really cool. Some awesome prints. And out of sight. One, number one. Definitely going to get this one as well. I actually don't know much about that. I read up about it a bit, uh, but it sounded pretty interesting, so have to have a look. And again, support the artists, support the people that come here and made this great event happen. Look at 
this lovely message. We love you, Cork. Thanks for coming. How lovely is that? That's by Big Bang Comics, sponsored by Big Bang Comics. We don't sell any graded stuff. So another uh, place where I'm going to be standing for a little while because I want to get the signed copy from Stephen Mooney. Um, I'm signing copy right there right now and also in here as well. And this is Fiona Farrell, colorist and illustrator as well. I have to say that it's very very easy to just keep going rounds and rounds and just uh, forget yourself looking through all the books and everything um, it's actually very good the whole event I really really enjoy it and there's a lot more to see than I actually originally expected the great thing I think is that there's so many genuine people who are like interested of uh, everything to do with, with comics and also I find that there's a lot of people that just pass by because it is in the shopping center so that happens uh, that you know people who aren't originally maybe interested of the comics are picking up a few copies and there you go there starts the new generation or something of comic lovers a lot of kids around which is great as well It was one of the greatest Saturdays lately um, and I have to show you all this stash that I picked up there's quite a few I'm not going to go into much detail I'm just showing what I picked up and then I make some uh, videos in the future uh, about uh, them separately I have already um, kind of gone through <laughs> a few of them because I couldn't resist um, but yeah I'll show you what I got Okay, so I start with these ones here. Uh, these four I picked it up for free because there was this crowd, Big Bang Comics, that uh, were giving away these free copies as a promotional material. And I think this is absolutely brilliant because, as I said before, the whole event was in the big shopping center, which means that 
there were a lot of people passing that weren't maybe originally into comics, but that might have picked up the free copies or kids that might have picked up the free copies and you never know who will get into comics and comic art. So it's definitely a really, really cool idea to uh, promote it like that. So the free ones were Black Panther, Marvel Legacy number one, the Mar Marvel Legacy calendar uh, 2018, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, I, and then, um, of course, Superman, Batman. Um, basically, I'm going to do a, a bigger review of these in some other video. I'm just showing now what I got, basically. This one, I already went through that one. Signed copy of the clone. I had never heard of this before. I just picked it up there um, because I thought that it's it sounded interesting when the guy was telling me what the storyline kind of was. And... I have to say I already read through it and it was absolutely brilliant. It was kind of dark and scary a bit, but it was brilliant. I loved it. Different. Definitely happy with the purchase. Then this one. Again, something that is totally new for me. Again, signed copy by Kevin Smith, who has uh, written these stories, but there's few artists involved. Uh, for example, the first one here, art by Shirsha Brennan. Uh, there's four stories all together uh, in the second one there. Art by Monika Kosmovska and inking Gemma Malone. Um, then there was another one. Whoops. Oh yeah, here. Art Gabriel Schiavoni. I assume that I am pronouncing that kind of correctly. And, ah, for example, this one here, Art Brian D. Wolf. So, four different stories in it. And that is a self-published teenage um, comic book writer. So, that, even though I had not heard of him before I thought that it would be like really great to support the youngsters and I wasn't disappointed with it at all and there was also uh, this little information leaflet that I took that's pretty cool teen graphic novel launching April 25th Cork World Book Festival so that is really cool that there is such thing as teen day about books in general but also the teen graphic novel launching so that might be pretty cool as well. Then, next I book, picked up this one, Frozen Waste, written by Aaron Fever, illustrated by Claire Foley. And I really find her art very interesting kind. She's not using a very wide color scheme, of course, again, signed copy. The color scheme is very limited, which makes it really unique. And I really, really do like her style. So that is one of the books that actually that I went for, that I wanted to pick up and wanted to get a signed copy for. Another one here is uh, this one, Troubled Waters, and also introducing Cork Life Like Rat in the Grain, story by Neil Best. This uh, Troubled Waters is by Keith Kennedy, and this I am looking forward to reading as well. I haven't yet opened it because as you see, it's still in this protective covering. Of course, I will put it back into that. But yeah, I'm looking forward to reading this one. And then I didn't get anything from Will Sloney this time uh, because the queue to Will Sloney was just crazy, humongous queue. I will get something again next time. Um, he's, he's the Marvel um, he's drawing the um, Spider-Man and all that. He's not living too far from Cork, actually. So living quite locally. Uh, but yeah, the queue was insane. So I didn't stay in this queue. But here are these five books. Uh, one of the hardback copies. And four of the non-hardback copies. All signed uh, by Stephen Mooney. As you can see, the signature here and here. And here, and here, and 
inside here. That's my personal um, signed copy of the hardback. And I'm really, 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 really looking forward to reading that one. I haven't yet started again. I actually had one of these before, but I thought that, hey, I'm go going to get another one and I'm going to get the signed copy. So, and of course, Dead Hand, I'm looking forward to reading that as well. So I have lots to read and I'm so happy that I went. As I said, I'm so happy with my stash and that is definitely pretty much what I'm going to do all evening today. Just uh, checking them out. So thanks for watching and sorry that I uh, didn't make a better video log while I was in there. As I said, I was just so conscious of, um, you know, filming people who wouldn't want to be filmed that I was kind of trying to be on the background. But I hope that you still enjoyed the video and I hope that you are interested in comics as well. Uh, if you are then Comment below, tell me what you like, what kind of comics, like, there's of course so many different likes that I like, uh, like, you know, different kinds that I like. I do love Marvel, different Marvel uh, series. Um, there, as I said, um, this time, this was more kind of local for me, in that way that I will try to pick up local artists' um, things that I could get signed, uh, except, of course, Will Sloney, who does Marvel stuff, but, as I said, the queue was just do great for me for this time. So yeah, anyway, thanks for watching and see you again in the next video. Bye.